Hey, what's up? It's your boy Gerard Green. So I'm a little winded because I just finished working out. So truth is, I like uh, snacks of the Little Debbie persuasion. True. Truth is, I can be extremely petty. Truth is, I hold grudges sometimes. Truth is, sometimes I can't wait to be around somebody that I don't really fool with so that they can see me and see me not talk to them. But the truth is, we gotta let a lot of that stuff go. You know what I'm saying? I was just working out, sorry I'm a little sweaty, I'm glistening and stuff. I was working out, when I work out, it gives me um, clarity of mind. And I begin to think about all the things in my life that I'd like to improve. Um, and one thing that was on my mind was to just encourage my friends, family, and followers to tell the truth. Tell the truth when it comes to fitness and health. Truth is, we all have these lofty goals. We see our friends, we see other people very, very fit, and we tell ourselves, I want to get like that. And that's the truth. But we trick ourselves into believing that it's going to happen overnight. Tell the truth. Tell the truth if you just had a slice of cheesecake or pecan pie or extra rib. Just tell the truth. But more than those truths, like, we need to begin to tell ourselves uh, truths of the divine. Um, when I was, I was jump roping and I thought to myself, what if we are indeed incredibly powerful? We're so powerful, in fact, that it scares us. When I, when I work out, sometimes when I'm, when I'm uh, like for instance, if I'm jump roping and I know I have five more seconds, sometimes I slack. Sometimes I slack because I feel like I'm going to pass out. But what if I don't pass out, right? <laughs> like, what if I go super hard in those, those last five seconds and then I make it to the, you know, to my mark? Like, wouldn't that feel awesome if I didn't pass out? I think sometimes we're so afraid that we're not going to make it. But we have to start telling ourselves that we are going to make it. We have enough energy. When I work out, this is kind of embarrassing, but when I work out and I feel like I'm just like, on my last leg, I tell myself, Gerard, this is not how you die. Your heart is not gonna explode out of your chest. This is not how you die. This is not how your story ends. And it makes me go a little harder. And so we need to begin to tell ourselves, this is not how I die. This is not the end of my story. No matter what it is, no matter what it is in your life, um, somebody wants to go back to school. Somebody wants to go back and get their education. Somebody wants to apply for that job. But sometimes we tell ourselves that we're not good enough. We let other people tell us that we're not good enough. And I wanna, I wanna tell you guys a little personal story without going too deep. For about six, seven, eight years, I was around people who led me to believe that I would not be successful without them. In so many words, they said to me, I would not be successful without them in music, in anything, and that I needed them. And that was a lie that I allowed myself, that I, I built up, I built up walls, like in my, my mind, my spirit, my, my personality, and, and thinking that I, I had to be this type, this way. I had to be a certain way. I had to be a certain way, and I could only exist in their eyes. And that, inevitably, that hurt me. And so we gotta check our circles. Check your circles and make sure that your circle is telling the truth. You wanna make sure that you're around people that push you, around people who want you to do better. You don't want to be around people who are set in the same ways and, and want to keep you at a level where they can control you. And, and that's kind of where I was. And I had to start telling myself the truth. I had to wake up. I had to, to lose almost everything to begin, and I'm still learning, but to begin to understand my true value and my true worth. And I want to thank a lot of you guys, a lot of my subscribers, who I don't consider subscribers. I consider you guys, a lot of you friends, for encouraging me through your comments and just, and just letting me know that um, there's more, there, there's, there's more story. My, my story is not over. And I honestly wouldn't be where I am today without the love and support of 
real people who told the truth. So I want us to tell the truth. Tell the truth about fitness. Tell the truth about health. Like, let's be honest. You, you're not going to get that, that perfect body that you want tomorrow. But, but I also believe, like, I think that a lot of us, we're kind of set in our ways. Well, I'm not going to be fine tomorrow. But take it one day at a time. If you walk, let's say you take 10 steps today. Take 11 steps tomorrow. Like, like live your truth. Tell your truth. The truth is you're not going to run a marathon tomorrow. But, but, but you can get one step closer tomorrow. You can what? I'm not going to eat fried foods tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, say, tell yourself that. You know, I had, you might have slammed on some ribs and some collard greens and some whatever. You might have slammed on that. But tomorrow, I'm a, you might slam on it tomorrow. But, <laughs> but maybe the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm all over the place, but what I really want you guys to get is that we have to start telling the truth. Like, there is, the, there is something very divine inside of us. There is something that's so divine. We are. Are extremely powerful people. We have to know. You have to know where your power comes from. Your power comes. Your source of power is from God. And just imagine. I mean, you might not want to over spiritualize everything, but like, I know sometimes when I'm working out and I'm just like, I'm not gonna make it. I open my eyes real wide and I tell myself like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing in this moment. And, and if God's got me, I'm not gonna pass out. I'm not gonna die from this workout. And you have to begin to tell yourself, you have to start building up power in yourself. Don't let your family, don't let friends tell you what you can and can't do and what you're good at, what you're not good at. Like you have to, like, it's there in you. I believe it's, it's, it's intrinsic. It's inside you. You have to begin to tell yourself, this is my story. This is how I'm going to succeed. I'm not going to make it because someone said this is how I'm going to make it. I'm not going to fail because someone said this is how I fail. So begin to tell yourself the truth, man. And, and, and start to live that truth, start to walk in that truth. And I really believe that you'll get somewhere like, I'm getting there. Every, you know, last night I hang on a lot. Last night I did the food. Last night I had, man, I had uh, some Twinkies. I had some red velvet. There was some red, some hostess had some red velvet cooking. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm a slave to the food, but every now and then I get, you know, I get cravings, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's my truth, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm not going to lie and, and say that I didn't have it because I did. You know, in my workout, I paid for it. And so I want you guys to know we're not going to be gladiators overnight, but I think internally we have to start becoming gladiators. We have to start becoming warriors. We have to start becoming kings and queens because that's what we are. And so um, this is not, I don't know, this video, like I said, it's all over the place, but like, you just got to tell the truth. Tell the truth to yourself, you know what I'm saying? And like all the hurt, any pain, anything that's been happening in the past, anything that anyone's done to you or said to you, we got to learn every day to let that stuff go because I'm telling y'all, I held on to seven or eight years of, of hurtful, negative comments from people who loved me, who I thought loved me. And in, in, in essence, they probably do love me in some way, shape, or form, but um, they might not have always had my best interest, you know, like at heart, and, and that's okay. And I'm learning every day, you know, like, I'm not gonna say I'm finna sit here and have a conversation with them. <laughs> Man, that's my mama's Kool-Aid, I'm not finna trip on you know nice water i promise i promise I promise but uh you know like um we have to learn to let that stuff go because we care that stuff like it's it's, it's cancerous it, it eats at us and it destroys us inside and so like i'm learning every day so i this is a real video like there's no agenda i was working out i was like let me make a video for my peoples and i just want y'all to just encourage one another thank you for encouraging me and inspiring me like i read all the comments and i'm grateful i'm very grateful and um Let's just tell the truth, all right? Love y'all so very much. Peace!